So this is the Earth Gospel Morning Prayer for Tuesday of week two. The theme for Tuesdays is God's providence, continuing creation. The opening from Hosea chapter six. With the rising of the sun, let us seek to know God, whose coming is as sure as dawn, whose grace is like rain, renewing the face of the earth. Here's a hymn for this morning from Isaac Watts. I sing the mighty power of God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command and all the stars obey. I sing Would you read the scripture passage from Psalm 104, please? Right. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with a garment. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst. By the streams, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing amongst the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use, to bring forth food from the earth, and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine and bread to strengthen the human heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has its home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the conies. You have made them move to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the animals of the forest come creeping out. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their dens. People go out to their work and to their labor until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Thank you. There's some other voices, first from the Catholic bishops of the Pacific Northwest. Creation is a book of nature in whose living pages people can see signs of the spirit of God present in the universe, yet separate from it. Each portion of creation can be sign and revelation for the person of faith a moment of grace revealing God's presence to us. 
and from Samuel Rayan. The earth is the Lord's, for it is the Lord's self-manifestation. It is something God is saying and doing, an ongoing revelation, an unfolding word of God, in which something of God's thought and heart are disclosed. The earth, then, is a revealed word of God, always alive and fresh, never frozen into human words which age and die. The earth and everything in it are loving and saving words addressed to us and addressing each other. God says it all with rainbows and flowers, with rice and wheat and the glory of sunsets, the charm of children, the beauty of brides, the innovativeness of youth and the prayers of trees, the mystery of silent things and the joy of friendship. We pause for two minutes of reflection. As we move into a time of prayer, we remember all those affected today by war, especially the people of Ukraine. And we pray for all who are suffering or ill and for those who care for them. Thanks, Michaela. Go ahead. Yours the seed, yours the growth, yours the water, yours the thirst, yours the wild, yours the tame. You are within me, O oh God, and within all creation, and you are beyond. Shape and fill me this day and all creation with your grace. Amen. And a blessing for today, based on Psalm 1. May you stand like a tree planted by a stream, bearing fruit in season, your leaves never fading, your yield always plenty. <laughs>